All right, so let's talk about the other property that we have for our artboards. The first one is called measurement properties. We have the size of our artboard, then we have the positioning of our artboard within the canvas. We can go with a landscape design or a portrait here. With these guys, we can, I'm going to select it and let's say 400 pixels. We can change the width and the height of our artboard. I'm going to undo what I did. And let's explore something else that we have and that is called the scrolling. Come down here on this artboard profile 4. I'm going to select it. As you can see on my properties inspector, this artboard has the width of 375 pixels and the height of 812 pixels. And that numbers are iPhonix presets, so basically they are iPhonix screen size. But this artboard, as I click on here, I'm going to select this group. As you can see, it has more contents to it and some of the contents are not shown in the artboard. So let's fix it. Before that, I'm going to talk about another properties that we have for this artboard and that is a scrolling properties which for now it is set to vertical and that's good but let's set it to none yeah and then also get a preview out of this artboard let's add a little bit to the height of this artboard so we can see the rest of the design here I'm going to come down here as you can see eight handles appear around my artboard and I can resize my artboard with these handles just like this here as you can see on my measurements properties the numbers are changing i'm going to undo what i did i'm going to get a preview so let's add a little bit of height to this artboard as i did that the size of the screen in my preview changed right now this screen size is not iphone x it's it's another device and I don't want that. Uh, I just want to scroll down to see the other results. As you can see on my properties inspector, we have the height of, let's round it up, 950 pixels for this artboard and have it in mind, 950 for the height. Let's go back to the default, which was 812. And now we have our iPhone X screen here on the preview. This time, let's set the scrolling back to vertical. And as I do that, the default is 812 for our viewport height. That's exactly the same as our height. And this time, if I just click and drag on this handle, to 950 pixels, the number that we had before for the height, as you can see. This time, the size of the screen didn't change in my preview. It's still iPhone X preset. So, I can scroll down to see the rest of the design. And we have a blue dash line appearing on our artboard. That dash line appeared on our artboard. It represents the viewport height that we have in the scrolling properties. Although our height in the measurement properties changed, our screen size remained the same. And now we can define the height of our screen with the viewport height. So if we just play with this line here, we can see the screen size is changing as well. Let's go back to 812, the defaults. And again, we have our iPhone X presets. There's one little thing here. As I'm scrolling down, I want my indicator and the status bar to stick to the place that they have on the screen, like they do in the real life. So I'm just going to select it, select this indicator and from my measurements properties in my properties menu, I'm going to check this box, fix position when scrolling. I'm going to do the same here for my status bar, fix position when scrolling. And now if I 
scroll down in my preview you can see that the indicator and the status bar stick to the places that they have in the original design that was a scrolling and it's very important since we almost always have it in our designs in the recent updates for Adobe C, they've added some cool features for group scrolling and we'll talk about them later on this course so if you want to have a scrollable artworks for your design make sure to set the scrolling to vertical otherwise the size of the screen will change and your design will mess up make sure to subscribe and ring the bell to catch up with the course thank you